Just like with paper books, your local public library is a great source for free ebooks and other digital content. Unfortunately, thanks to strong digital rights management by the publishers of these books, the process for obtaining reading ebooks can be difficult and confusing. In this video, I'll go over the specifics of how to get ebooks from your public library and how to read them. What you'll need is a library that offers ebooks, an Adobe ID, and the Adobe Digital Editions application. Optionally, you may want an ebook reader or the Bluefire Reader app for iOS. Obviously, you won't be able to obtain ebooks from your local library if your library doesn't offer them, so you want to start your search on their website. Most libraries in the U.S. contract through services like NetLibrary and Overdrive, so you may have to go through one of these external websites to find and check out an ebook. You'll need a library card and possibly an online library account in order to check out books from these services. The standard digital rights management, or DRM, system used for library ebooks is run by Adobe. If you've ever used Apple's iTunes to purchase music, you've already got a fairly good idea of how Adobe DRM works. In order to play the music you bought on iTunes, you have to authenticate your computer with an Apple ID. This prevents you from distributing music to other people. It works the same way with Adobe DRM. You need an Adobe ID in order to authenticate your computers and devices. The maximum allowed for one ID is six computers and six devices. You can sign up for an Adobe ID by visiting adobe.com and selecting Sign In. Then just follow the steps to create an account. In order to open the ebook files, you'll need to install an application called Adobe Digital Editions. This program works much like iTunes for books in that it will automatically manage the files you download and allow you to read ebooks that use Adobe DRM. You can download digital editions from this website. During the installation process, you will be prompted to input your Adobe ID in order to authenticate your computer. Now that I've got digital editions set up, I'm ready to check out an ebook. I'm going to go to the ebook section on my library's website. Here in Tampa, our library only offers downloadable ebooks through Overdrive, so I'm going to click here to go through the Overdrive catalog site. Here's the site. I wanted to find an ebook, so I'm just going to browse for one here. Here's a Jules Verne novel I've always wanted to read, so I'm just going to grab this one. The question is, which one do I get? One is an Adobe EPUB book, the other one is an Adobe PDF. EPUB is the more flexible option since it allows you to adjust the formatting and font sizes. If you're going to read it on a device with a smaller screen like an iPhone or iPod, this will probably be more of an issue than if you read it on a larger screen. You also might have noticed that I can add one of these to my cart, but for the other one I have to get on a waiting list. Unfortunately, libraries can't just loan out as many copies as they want. Instead, they have to purchase licenses for each copy, hence the limited supply. So I'm going to add this one to my cart, and once I go through the sign-in process, I can check out. Now when I go to download it, I can just open it up in Digital Editions, and that will bring up the book so I can read it. Using Digital Editions is fine for reading books on your computer, but if you want to read Adobe DRM books on an e-reader, you're somewhat limited. Visit this website for a full list of supported devices, which includes the Barnes & Noble Nook and Sony Reader, but unfortunately doesn't include the Amazon Kindle. You'll need to refer to your device's documentation for details on how to transfer content to your device. For reading on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you'll need a free app called Blue Fire Reader. Once you've installed it and authorized it with your Adobe ID, you can use iTunes to copy ebook files into the app. Plug your device in and navigate to the Apps tab in the top menu bar. Scroll down to the bottom half of the menu where the file sharing section is. If you select the Bluefire app, it brings up a list of the files that have already been placed in the app. Press the Add button and you can browse to the ebook file. Keep in mind that you can only transfer the file after you've opened up the ebook first in Digital Editions. Digital Editions authorizes the ebook file and copies it into a Digital Editions folder, which you can find in My Documents in Windows or in Documents on Mac. This is the file that you want to transfer over. Once you do so, you'll find that ebook file in the library of the Bluefire app. There currently isn't a really good solution for Android users, 
An app by a German company called Texter claims to offer the ability to read Adobe DRM ebooks, but for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to use it. Unfortunately, there is zero documentation on the Texter website. If you're an Android user who's had success with Texter, please share you got it working in the comments. Aldico is supposedly working on an update that adds Adobe DRM support, so hopefully a good, elegant solution is coming soon for Android. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links. 